Okay, I am dual streaming on Instagram and Facebook. I am super excited because I am going to be doing the first live series on a public platform that is longer than three days in the first time of ever history of ever. Um, so I'm really excited. It has been a hot minute since I've been consistent with showing up live on my social media platforms. And one of my mentors has been doing this challenge and has been encouraging all of us to do it. So I decided to dive right in and to accept the challenge. And I figured what better way than to create some magic in the world than sharing the magic um, of my own. So Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. I will be going live every single day for 21 days, sharing little mini tips that I've implemented over the last two years. So a little backstory on what I do. Um, if you guys are new to following me, welcome. I have been an online influencer and entrepreneur since 26, well, 2015. Um, my daughter was born in 2016 and that is when I made this my full-time gig. I am a network marketer and I also am a mindset mentor. So I also run my own online business as well. So a little backstory on how I started my journey into magic when I was goodness it was 2018 and i was at this point in my network marketing business and i was stuck i was doing all of the things i was showing up consistently i was literally pouring my heart and soul into my business and it was actually moving backwards and so i decided to invest in a mentor and hey hey thanks for having me on i decided to invest in a mentor and do things differently than I'd ever done them. Um, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. And I was doing between 100 to 150 invites and connections and follow-ups every single day, every two days. I was burning myself like into the ground. I was working seven days a week. I was raising, at that time, she was a one and a half year old, and I was exhausted. I was just so burnt out, I thought, you know, what is the point of building this dream life if I'm not actually taking the time to spend it with the people that I love the most? If I'm not actually using my free time to spend with the, pre the people that I'm creating this life of freedom for? And I was really doing everything ass backwards. And a lot of what we do comes down to, yes, taking massive action. But what a lot of us do don't realize is that the biggest thing that keeps us from success is all is often ourselves. It's often our lack of belief in, in what we think we're capable of doing and what we think we're capable of achieving. And this is because of subconscious imprinting. Um, I could talk for days on <laughs> your subconscious blueprint, on limiting beliefs, um, but the purpose of these lives is to just introduce you to just a few little mini tips here and there that you guys can start implementing easily right now, today, over the next 21 days, and start to see some magic and momentum in your overall life. Um, I'm sure that most of you that follow me are um, either network marketers yourself, online entrepreneurs, um, or your people that are maybe trying to scale, scale the corporate world or launch your own business. So my hope is that at the end of these 21 days, you guys can just take these tips that I'm giving you guys um, and just implement them to start to see some magic in your everyday life. I promise you, if you take every single tip that I'm giving you over the next 21 days and you take action, you will see a change. You will, you will not only see a change, you're going to feel a change. So um, what I think is hilarious is the work that I do now is the work that I used to roll my eyes at. I would see other people in my network marketing company doing, doing these things every single day, doing a gratitude practice, writing in their journal, doing affirmations, doing all these woo woo, like fluffy things. And I would literally sit there and I would roll my eyes at them. But the crazy thing about that is I would sit there and roll my eyes at these coaches that were in the top of the company and they were seeing all of this success doing these things that I was refusing to do. I was looking at them and rolling my eyes at the actions that they were taking because I thought, okay, doing, you know, 
putting affirmations out into the universe, being gratitude or being grateful and doing like a daily gratitude journal, like that's all great and like hunky dory, but it's not going to like build my business. And I was so wrong and I am so glad that I was willing to see things differently and that I was willing to try something new. I think that's something that is so important for anyone who's tuning into this is be willing to be coachable. Be willing to be your own best students. The best teachers are the best students and be, you know, be willing to implement some of these things, even if they seem bizarre to you, because I promise you, if you have an open mind, they will work for you. So I was seeing all these coaches in my network marketing business have all this massive success doing and implementing some of these things. Now, mind you, we also still take practical massive action. So we're also still implementing those practical things. Um, but I was rolling my eyes at them and refusing to do it until one day I sucked it up. I hired a mentor and I was willing to see things differently and start doing things in an easier, more enjoyable way. These tips and practices not only helped my business, they have helped my overall life. My, the standard of living that I, that I have now is astronomically different than the way that I used to live my life in 2018. I went from $29,000 in debt, living below paycheck to paycheck. Hey, Alyssa. Hey, Danielle. Hey, guys. Um, so I was $29,000 in debt. I was living below paycheck to paycheck to now having five figure months consistently. And it is not by doing more, I have actually done less. And I don't want to say that I've done less in terms of like, I just sit, sit back and do nothing all day. But the things that I was doing in 2018 that I thought were going to move my business forward were things that, that brought me no joy. They were things that felt icky for me to do. Um, and you know, the law of attraction is a real thing. What we put out is what we get back. So if we are going into these actions, if we are going into these daily behaviors, feeling, um, uncertain or uneasy about them, we're going to receive the same back. So um, I take massive action, but I take massive action doing more of the things that bring me joy. So some of the tips that I'm going to share with you are actually taken from the book, The Magic by Rhonda Byrne. So if you guys have read that book, yay, you like, you probably already know some of the tips I'm going to give you. Um, I'm also going to give you some tips that I've, I've just implemented myself through um, my mentor, other, other trainings that I've done, other masterminds that I've done, and just the way that I've reworked my mindset. And I'm, you know, sharing that with you. Um, but I would also encourage you if you have not yet read The Magic by Rhonda Byrne, it is an, it is an incredible book. Go get your hands on it um, because it's it's incredible. So um, <laughs> the first tip that I'm going to give you guys today, when I implemented this, I thought people were going to think I was batshit crazy. Um, and probably some of you are going to listen to this and you're going to be like, okay, this girl is definitely batshit crazy. Um, but tip number one, so your magical tip number one in 21 Days to Magic is I want you guys to get a stone or a crystal and every single day before you go to bed, you're going to hold on to this crystal or this stone and you are going to think of the most magical thing that happened to you that day. Okay, now it doesn't have to, I don't, and like, and people have this perception of magic that it's like, um, like, wiz, like wizardry. It's, it's not, I don't even know if that's a word. Um, but magic being in terms of what was the most amazing thing that happened to you today? What was the most wonderful thing that happened to you? What are you the most grateful for today that happened to you? Um, now, if you are someone that maybe your religion, you are like, you know, I can't really um, have crystals or totems or things like that. That's okay. It's literally simply just used as like a grounding mechanism. You don't have to have it. Um, you can simply just go to bed every single night and before you turn the lights off and before you put your head down on the pillow, just think of the most magical thing that happened to you today. And every single day before you lay your head on the pillow, think about the, mo the most magical thing that happened to you that day. Now I have a little crystal. It's actually, ironically, my mom gave me this crystal a week before I started reading that book. And I remember opening this book and you know reading the intro and thinking like okay this this book is a little it's definitely it's really woo um and then reading this first little mini practice and thinking oh my gosh like i was never someone that had crystals i was never someone um 
that had any of those things. And then my mom, a week before she had, um, she had come up to visit me in upstate New York. And a week before she had gone back, she went to this local shop and she's like, oh, I picked up all these crystals. She's like, pick, you know, pick out the one that calls to you the most. And I picked up this white crystal and it was like, you know, super smooth around the edges. And I was like, I like this one. Um, and then I opened the first, you know, the first, um, chapter to that book and started to implement the first trick. And it was like, oh, you know, look for, you know, a rock or a stone or a shiny crystal. Um, it could be clear with, you know, it's smooth around the edges. And I was like, oh my gosh, like how ironic. Like, and we call that in the, in the spiritual world, we call that alignment. Like it was so aligned that a week before I started reading this book, um, my mom gave me a crystal and I needed a crystal. So um, your first magical tip out of these 21 days is every single night before you go to bed, Hold on to your stone, hold on to your crystal. If you guys aren't into totems and things like that, um, just think it before you go to bed. So the, the totem or the crystal is just simply there to ground you. It's it's really there just to help you focus on what you're doing. Um, it's kind of like, you know, if you if you tell someone to focus on their heart, um, they, they tend to feel things more if they put their hand on their heart. So that's kind of why we like have you hold on to something with this practice. But over the next 21 days, we're going to add on to all these little mini practices. So by the end of these 21 days, you will have um, some magic momentum building in your everyday life. Um, and again, I'm encouraging you all to just be really open-minded about this. Um, again, I was really stubborn for years. I saw other people implementing these, you know, spiritual practices, these affirmations, these gratitude practice uh, practices and everything that we would call like woo-woo or foo-foo. Um, and I was really adamant and, to be against it and I you know I really thought that like oh that's great for them but that's not for me um truthfully that's not the case um so many people um can see massive success and scale really fast just doing all of the things um and that is just because that's how their sub their subconscious is made up that's how their subconscious blueprint is made up some of us though we need to actually rework our mindset we actually have to erase the blueprinting that's that's been created over time and replace it with new behaviors and new beliefs that are going to serve us um so don't worry i'm going to implement some of those with you guys uh on these live trainings as well so thank you guys for listening um again have a super open mind these practices i started them in 2018 um i went from twenty nine thousand dollars in debt living below paycheck to paycheck to to literally having to do literally doing less work so i do you know less shitty work so i do less of those things that like feel burnt out and hustly and exhausting and like make you feel uneasy and i do more of the things that bring me joy um and to now having consistently five figure months and scaling a six figure business um so I'm excited to share all of these with you. Make sure you tune in live. Um, I'm gonna actually save these as IGTVs for you as well, just so you guys have them to go back to. Um, and for those on Facebook, I actually see some questions coming in. Uh, Alyssa, okay, yes, a, it's a Christmas story lab. So for those of you on Instagram, I actually um, tuned in live on Facebook first. I'm dual streaming um, and my mom has this freaking lamp um, next to me. You can't see it because I moved my camera because it was, it was such an eyesore. So uh, they're commenting about the lamp. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you, Danielle. Um, I don't even know where this outfit is from, but I do know that my grandma bought it for me. Guys, my grandmother has impeccable taste. Side note, the romper that I wore in one of my latest posts, it's actually my grandma's. She has phenomenal taste. And I'm, I'm social distancing in Florida. Um, we've been here for over a month already. Gosh, going on two months already. And we're here until May 18th um, because obviously things in New York are not so great and things in Florida are a little bit easier. So when you're raising a three-year-old, it's a lot easier for her to be outside running around in the sunshine. Uh, Danielle says, interesting you were talking about this today because I was really thinking about this today, um, how I'm interested in would like to delve into it. Yes, girl. So um, all of these things that I'm gonna be going over for the next 21 days, they're super simple. Like, don't overthink them. Just have an open mind. Be willing to see things differently. Be willing to do things differently, especially if you're tuning in. Um, a lot of people that follow, follow me are already network marketers or entrepreneurs with other companies. So if you're feeling stuck in your business, this is a great thing to tune into just to get some free value, just to get some free tips and tricks. Um, yeah, grandma coming in hot. Uh, just to get some free tips and, and tricks to help you scale your business quicker and easier, guys. That was the biggest thing for me is I was building this life by design, 
But there was no life because I was just hustling my ass into the ground. I was doing all of these behaviors that didn't bring me any joy. And I was feeling burnt out by the end of every single week. And I'm like, if I'm building, you know, this life of freedom, this life by design, I need to be actually living it to its fullest. So um, it's going to impact your overall life, not just your business, your overall life. So tune in for 21 days. Have an open mind. I will teach you little mini tricks that help me go from $29,000 in debt, overdrawing my account, living below paycheck to paycheck to five figure months and scaling to a six figure business. Okay. You guys are amazing. I will upload this and save it for you guys. I hope you have an incredible freaking week. Happy Monday. Bye.